Liverpool's Harvey Elliott suffered a pretty bad looking left ankle injury and in this video we're going to take a closer look at what exactly happened. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Let's get right into the injury here, you all know what to do if you enjoy these videos and want to help support the channel. So Elliott is chasing down the ball here and gets basically kind of tackled from behind. I'm not going to get into how clean or dirty this tackle was, but what basically happens is his left leg and left ankle in particular kind of get caught up behind him here. They unfortunately didn't show any additional views to kind of look more specifically at the injury mechanism, but what typically happens with these ankle injuries is the ankle gets forced into a little bit of external rotation. So classically kind of caught up behind him here as he falls forward. And then we can see that left ankle kind of release, but as he kind of rolls onto his back, you can see the pretty clear kind of deformity there in that left ankle as he's rolling after getting tackled here. This still image shows a little bit more clarity here so we can see kind of the positioning, his tibia pointed down this way and then his left foot is kind of rotated out to the side here. Looks like we can see a little bit of that kind of step off deformity in the ankle, suggesting again that not only a dislocation occurred but potentially a fracture as well. The official word from Jurgen Klopp after the game is that it was bad injury, Ankle dislocated, has been put back in place, and he was now at the hospital. If we look at our biodigital anatomy tool here, when we talk about an ankle dislocation, the joint that we're talking about is between the talus and the tibia, the tibiotalar joint. This is sort of the true ankle joint between these two bones. You'll also hear sometimes about what we call a subtalar dislocation, which happens below the talus between the talus and the calcaneus or the heel bone. Run of the mill ankle dislocation, we're talking about the tibiotalar joint where essentially the talus comes out from its normal location between the tibia and the fibula. Now one of the primary stabilizers to keeping this joint in place is going to be actually the syndesmosis or the high ankle sprain ligament that we traditionally think of being injured with a high ankle sprain. I have it highlighted here in red and it's the AITFL or the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. Remember these ligaments are kind of like ropes holding these bones together. And so by keeping the fibula and the tibia anchored together, you can see how they kind of form this mortise. They surround the talus. So you've got your tibia and your fibula with your talus kind of tucked up securely in between there. But when we get forced into these external rotation positions of the ankle, what that does is it tends to make the talus want to widen and push the tibia and the fibula apart which can stress that ligament, cause the talus to pop out. And even if you have an associated fracture, if you've got a fracture here, there's no bony security of that ankle joint, the talus pops out, you end up with that dislocation. If we zoom out here a little bit, when I talk about that external rotation, it's the act of the foot coming out this way with the tibia kind of anchored off to the inside. If we go back to the play where this happened here, Elliot kind of plants right there with his left foot. And in this position, what's most likely occurred is that his left foot is basically pointed outwards, kind of towards the middle of the pitch, as his tibia is forward, externally rotating that ankle, likely leading to a fracture, but then that talus coming out of its normal location, seated between the tibia and the fibula. You can kind of see here as he comes through, hey, you can imagine that ankle kind of rotated outward right there, gets locked, gets twisted underneath him. And remember, our bones don't do very well whenever they're twisted and put into torsion. As he comes through again, you can unfortunately see kind of has the foot is sort of hanging down, signifying where we've seen that dislocation and likely fracture. Now I will say it's very rare, but it is possible to have just a pure dislocation of the ankle. More than likely though, we're also dealing with a fracture here. And really it's a combination of healing between the ligaments that can be injured, and healing of the fracture and repairing that fracture. In American football, we of course remember Dak Prescott's ankle dislocation and fracture that was a season ending injury. And so there's a spectrum of how bad these are gonna be depending on how much of the bone is fractured and how bad the ligament damage is. When we think of this ankle joint, stuff has to fracture, ligaments have to tear for it to come out of place, and so the ultimate recovery depends on how bad the fractures are and how bad the ligament damage is. One of the things you certainly hope for is that if there is a fracture, it's not open or a compound fracture where the skin breaks because that introduces the potential for infection, which makes this a much more potentially serious injury in terms of possible complications. Typically, these aren't injuries we think of as being career ending, but they can certainly be career altering. Whenever you have a severe joint dislocation like this, you run risk of damaging the cartilage around the joint, 
you have chronic issues with some instability in those ligaments depending on how they heal. So while players are typically able to get back onto the field, they can certainly be career altering and that's really more of what it comes down to when we think long term. So to review one more time, when we talk about the ankle joint, we're talking about the joint between the talus and the tibia or the tibiotalar joint. When that ankle typically gets forced into a lot of rotation, that can not only stretch the ligaments helping keep that joint in place, but can also cause fractures to the fibula or the tibia, which can provide more instability, allowing that talus to pop out of its normal place in the ankle joint. As Elliot chases this ball down and then gets tackled, his left foot right here gets pinned backwards behind him, gets forced into this rotation position. The joint twists, the bone twists, causing potential fracture, definite dislocation of the joint, and then as he ultimately follows through here, we can see how that foot is sort of hanging down, signifying at least as we know the dislocation, but unfortunately probably also a fracture as well. That's it for the video. I hope you learned something here about our ankle anatomy and kind of the ankle joint and what can happen with these injuries. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.